Today we are going to be talking about how to add page numbers to your book or novel in InDesign. So let's just jump in and get started. First off, I have a sample chapter here. This is just a bunch of wingdings and uh, nothing important just to fill the space to illustrate this moment. But what we want to go into first is our pages tab. And if you do not see this pages tab, go over to window and just click on pages and make sure that is checked. This is going to be where we can get into page numbering and have it do it all for us, nice and easy. So once you are in there, there are these things up here called parent pages, and these are going to save your book's life. <laughs> So in the parent pages, we have these A parents. So I am just going to click on those. Now you can see I have my name up here in some letters down here, but for you, you guys are not going to have any of that. So let's just start off with a blank document and recreate that from scratch. So first we're going to go over to this big T. This is our type tool and we just want to make a little box and don't type anything in there. And you'll notice this is a dotted line instead of a solid line because we're working in master pages versus when you're back on InDesign, you will see that solid box. So don't freak out. Everything's still happening, right? It is just a dotted space in parent pages. Now, what we are going to do here, go up to this type drop down menu, scroll down until we see insert special character, go over here to markers, and then we want the current page number. That is going to put this little a in our box. Now we can go back to our properties. And again, if you're not seeing this, go to window and click properties and we can format this for our book. So let's make this centered. Let's say we're at Times New Roman, 12 point font. That looks good. I'm gonna go to my selection tool or the black arrow tool and just make this a little smaller. And here I can see it is lined up thanks to my smart guides. But if you'd like, you can just go ahead and pull this all the way out. So it fills it up and you know you're perfectly centered with the page. Either way, it is a preference. But what this does is if we go back and look at our book, that only puts a number on the right side of the page. So we need to go back into that parent and redo this on the other side. So let's just go over that process one more time. We get a text box, draw it out, go to type, insert special character, a marker, and a current page number. Perfect. Same thing. You can go ahead and format that however you would like. I'm just going to make it the same as the last Times New Roman. We'll go ahead and center that. And again, the guides will be brought up here to let me know that I can make this the exact same size. So now when I go back to my pages, and I click on my book, I can see, okay, I have page numbers going and they are just totally automatically running at this point. Now, if you are not seeing the page numbers here, that means you have not applied your parents to their little child pages. So what you need to do is drag the left side of the parent page to the left side of your book and the right side of your page to the right side of your book and that will apply it. And if you've messed up and you want none there, you can go ahead and say no and that erases that. But we want that parent there. Now this brings me to my next point. At the start of a chapter, typically you won't have any of that fancy stuff. So I have went ahead and put none on the first page of that chapter, but it still is numbering properly, which is really, really great. And you can hide it and all of those fun things. Now, at the beginning, I had my name up here and a book title. So if you'd like to do that, again, just go back in parent pages and anything you want to appear on every page you can put here. So I can put my author name here. And again, just go ahead and format that. And you don't have to do anything fancy with it this time because we are not um, needing it to page number for us. So there's no special characters or anything like that. And I am just going to make another text box and put in author name here and again, reformat it for this side. So now when we look at our pages, we can see, oh, 
there's my name up there. So it looks so cool. You can do so much fun things with this. But before we go, let me really quickly show you how to start a new section. So let's say this was our prologue and we don't actually want it to be page numbers like this. We want it to be Roman numerals. So what I can do here is right click and go to numbering and section options. Once I'm in here, it will be checked that this is a start section. Um, I've already established that, so that's why it's grayed out. I wanted to start page numbering at one, but I want my style to be Roman numerals because this is going to be the, I'll just put a uh, prologue or you know even introduction. So I want it to be these Roman numerals. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And you can now see that these are Roman numerals. Let's say that here, I want there to be a new chapter. So I've went ahead and dragged none down there. So my author name and page number don't show, but I don't want it to continue in Roman numerals. I want it to start with the book. I want it to have page numbers. So here I am going to go in again Go to numbering and section options. I want to make sure this is a start section. I want it to start at page number one because this is not a part of my intro or my prologue or anything like that. This is the start of the meat of the story. So I am going to label this section prefix chapter one or we can do story and make sure that this is the start of it all. Now the style, I do want it in one, two, three, four and everything else looks good. So I'm going to click okay because I don't have a parent on this page, it's not there, but let's just put a parent back. And you can see, oh, there's the author name and it worked, that is page one. So let's hide that from the chapter page. And then as you go down, you can see page two, three, four, five, and it goes on and on and on. And that is how you do page numbers. It is really simple with these master pages. I will tell you, I did not know how to use these at first. I have numbered a novel by hand and in design. It was awful, and that was one of my first experiences with InDesign many years ago, and I cannot believe I missed understanding <laughs> master pages. So please use this. Feel free to ask any questions over on patreon.com slash Bethany Stahl, where I provide individualized help and have access to documents, templates, and behind the scenes numbers and more, or go over to selfpubby.com if you're looking for more traditional classes where you can access free or paid classes that go in depth on publishing topics. You have lifetime access and those topics do update over time. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have, please subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you all next time.